The Cutting Edge, Mastering the Knife in English. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting episode in our Food and Dining series. Today, we're going to cut right into a very essential tool in every meal, the knife. We'll discover its different types, uses, and the correct English vocabulary to describe them. Before we delve into the different types of knives, let's learn some basic vocabulary. The blade is the sharp edge used for cutting, while the handle is the part you hold. The action of using a knife is typically referred to as cutting. However, depending on how you use it, there can be specific terms such as slicing, dicing, chopping, and peeling. Remember, these words are not only used for the action of using a knife, but they also describe the state of the food after it's been cut. For example, you can have sliced bread, diced onions, or chopped vegetables. Now, let's talk about the different types of knives you might encounter. The most common one is the dinner knife which is used during meals to cut food. It's usually a part of a basic dining set along with a fork and a spoon. Then, there's the bread knife. It's designed with a serrated edge to cut through bread without crushing it. You might also hear about a steak knife. This knife is sharper than a dinner knife and is used specifically for cutting steak. In a kitchen, you'll find the chef's knife. This is a versatile tool that is used for many different tasks, from slicing and dicing vegetables to chopping meat. The paring knife is a small knife used for intricate work like peeling and trimming. There are more types of knives, but these are some of the most common ones that you'll encounter in English-speaking cultures. English has several idioms and expressions involving knives, which can enrich your language. Here are a few, like a hot knife through butter, is used to describe something that is done easily and smoothly. If someone is sharp as a knife, it means they are very intelligent. To live on the knife's edge means to live in a dangerous or uncertain situation. And that's it. You're now equipped with knowledge about knives in the English language. I hope this slice of learning has been informative and fun. Remember, Keep practicing these words and phrases in your daily conversations and you'll be sharp as a knife in no time. Until next time, keep exploring and enjoying your English language journey.